Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Handmade by Ying Madonna. Today is Wednesday, January the 25th, 2023, and I'm here today doing a box opening. And I'm telling you right now, Sue Allen, one of my subscribers, mailed this box in. So I'm going to slip it off of the table, and it's quite a big box. But I wanted to move it so that I'm not showing her personal information. And go ahead and let's do this opening together. And I think it's always fun to see what the subscribers mail and things like that. And share that with you. And they're seeing it as it's being opened on the receiving end as well. It's always nice when they're sending stuff in. Whether it be for one of the projects that I'm working or whatever the case may be. So let me get this open. She's got a good bit of tape here. And for that, I'm thankful. So let's see what we've got in this box of goodness. It's got a note first. And it says, Donna, the material in this is for Project Dress a Girl. I hope this will help. Sorry, I can't help it this time. As you know, I am doing quilts, lap blankets, and bags for the kids going through chemo. The rooms get cold and they need them. I plan on getting my YouTube as soon as I get my long arm and start quilting for myself and others. Thank you for what you do. We are doing God's work. Enjoy your YouTube. God bless. And if I can help, let me know. Sue Allen. Thank you, Sue Allen. So I'm going to show you what goodness she sent and how it's going to bless all these little girls. And I think that's fabulous. So the first thing she has sent is, it's called Raw Silk. This is going to make a few dresses. This is five yards, so I should be able to get a few dresses out of this. Thank you. That is going to be amazing. And let me see. She sent some fun projects along the way as well. Um, Annie's Creative Quilter Collection. And I'll see what I can do up with these. Tonga World of Joy Collection. These are fabulous. And they're going to make either fun dresses or fun bags. We'll have to see how we work those. But let me show you some of the fabric along the way. Now, is that not just gorgeous? So let me fold this. I'm going to try to keep everything in some kind of an order. And this is just really, really pretty. And it looks to be about enough for, I'm estimating, several dresses. I'm going to say about two or three. And the dresses that I'm doing at this time are ranging from the 10 to 12 size. So this is really going to bless these girls. Oh, this is really cute. Americana. Emma and Myla Patriotic Collection. I don't know if this one will work for Project Dress Girl because they ask us not to do any themes. But what I can do with this is work another project and we'll use that on the channel. So I'm going to set that aside so it doesn't get packed away with the Project Dress a Girl items. So let's see. We've got tons and tons of goodness here. And for that, we're thankful and blessed. So look at all of this. I'm not going to open it. I'm sure that these are just different color assortments. So I'm just going to slide them over like this so that I'm sharing it with you. These are going to make some pretty dresses. And if I can't use them for the dresses, I might be able to piece them and seam them and serge them together and make different style dresses. But we'll have to wait and see. The stars I'll have to set aside as well. So let me move these over here because they were adamant on the types of things that we can use and can't use. Look at this, little tiny umbrellas. That is darling. They're going to love these. Freshly picked quilters club. This is going to be fabulous. And then stripes. What little girls don't like stripes and dots? This is just too 
stinking amazing. And I, these greens and the polka dots, I can make scrappy dresses out of all. And wait until you see how fabulous this is. I'm going to show you. I'm always using the, um, oh my goodness, I'm at a loss. I, the bias tape. I've even got ribbon to do some embellishments. And look at all of this. She has sent me one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 52 bias tapes. How amazing is that? And that adds to making it so much easier when I'm working these dresses. And it does under the arms for each and every one of them. So if you're not familiar with Project Dress Girl, please check it out. Joe's going to put a link in the description box for that as well. So Sue Allen, thank you for all of the many blessings that was in this box. It all is greatly appreciated. And then the next one that I have is another subscriber mailed me some amazing fabric. So I want to show you that real quick. This is going to make, I'm estimating here when I say this, I'm estimating at the yardage. This one here will make a size 10, 12 dress. This is two and a half yards of fabric. So I'm going to go down in sizes to get two dresses. Then this one is another three yards. So I'm going to stay with the size five, six on this so I can squeak out three dresses. So for Dahlia, thank you, sweetheart, for sending me such amazing fabric to make these dresses. And what I do with the scraps, I put them in a bin and I save them for when I do the so powerful purses, I'm going to be able to blend fabrics and things and make this come together ever so nice. Delia's also become a bonus family to me as well. And she made me this cool sweatshirt and I dearly love it. Helps keep me warm. And the sign behind me that says handmade by Ying with Donna. Delia, it means the world to me to have the friendship and sisterhood that we do, and I greatly appreciate you. I have one more subscriber that sent me another box of blessings, but this box is just for me. So I wanted to show you just a few items that she sent. She knows I love panels and breast cancer awareness. I do a lot of for the whole month of October, so she sent me a beautiful panel. And how cool is it that this panel matches what Delia had made for me? So, my subscriber's name is Janine, and I don't want to give her last name because I didn't ask permission first, but she'll know who she is. And these panels are just darling. I can do so much with each and every one of them. Look at these beautiful magnolias. I can make some pillows, and I just, I think they're beautiful. I'm going to be doing a um, large quilt here probably in the fall, and it's going to have a lot of um, panels in it, per se, but look at the eagles. So it's going to have deers and eagles. It's going to have a lot of different wildlife, and I think that's going to be just perfect for the one I want to make for Joe. I want to make him a manly quilt. Then... Let me show you all this. It's just so much goodness. I'd be remiss if I didn't show you. Is that not beautiful? I'm going to think of something. The way I love the oceans and the beaches and the water. Yeah, this is totally a win-win. Love, love, love. And then I love lighthouses. And Janine, she must know me <laughs> ever so well. Because some of these lighthouses I've had the opportunity to go and see. And there's a couple on my bucket list that I do want to see. I collect lighthouses. And the last one I got was from a trip to the Bahamas when I went with my daughter. 
But look at how beautiful this is. Is that not just perfect? I feel the love for my subscribers. And nothing's ever taken for granted. I tell you, Joe and I appreciate everything that they send in, whether it's for us or for one of our specialty projects. And she sent the Four Seasons panels. I'm not going to go through all of them with you, but these are going to be so adorable. Look at this. Mm. I'm doing a um, Bargello for our bedroom, and I think I'm going to add this in as pillow shams. Look, it's going to have all of the beautiful colors. Now, how cool is that? Get that Bahama feeling in my bedroom and make it look ever so nice. And this one here, she just won my heart with it as everything that gets sent in. But look at this, being in the medical field for the biggest part of my life. <laughs> All the little nurses. And there's one on here I just thought you would get a kick out of, so I wanted to make sure I sent it. <laughs> you can tell it's not outdated fabric by any means. You can see we're in the mask era. So I'm going to do something sweet, and I think I'm going to donate this to um, our local emergency room where I worked. I think they would really like something like that. And I'll make it into some form of a wall hanging that would hang into their nurses' quarters. Then I've got to introduce you to Itty Bitty and Twitty. Janine knows I love good projects. And I haven't had time to make what I'm about to show you. So I'd like to introduce you to three new little people that's in my studio now. Here is Itty. <laughs> Isn't that cute? She did such a fabulous job making these for me. Here's Biddy. And then here's Twitty. Itty, Biddy, and Twitty. Little chicks. Are they not stinking adorable? So with all of that being said, I would love to thank my subscribers for showing the love to Joe and I. We greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all of your love and support for our channel and all the charities that we work for. Thank you guys for everything. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye-bye.